Alright. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> the mage was working pretty well at the end of yesterday, so I think I'm gonna continue with it. I imagine Taunt Druid's gonna go even up higher in popularity from what it was at yesterday. Priest can be pretty annoying if we don't find Jaina quickly. And they pack a lot of damage. Found Jaina quickly. Now we pack a lot of healing. Me too, we're quick. Yeah, let me restart the notify thing. I don't know why I gotta restart it every day. It's kinda annoying. Mm. Job done. Damn it, what is that thing called? There it is. The labeler. Identified elixir. Something new is happening. Something wild. It's not a, now. It's not technically wild, but because it's standard. It's not even odd, priest man. Inner, inner fire, priest sort of stuff, or resurrect combo, so the Geist is gonna be super good versus this hot garbage. Yeah, yeah, divine spirit, inner fire. We don't have um ice block, so having the Geist is like really freaking good to make sure that we don't just randomly die. Hey, Firemac, glad to see you're streaming. Glad to see you're watching, dude. I wanna injure this minion so that he can't enter fire it up to kill my uh, Doomsayer. Uh. Oh, How's the day been? I just woke up, so. Pretty good. <laughs> First game. I think we have a favorable. We have Geist against Inner Fire Priest. That feels good. But he might be able to kill me in some other way. I'm just going to jam the Geist. Two Inner Fires. Every time. Two Power Shields. Now we have to worry about what? Crazed Alchemist kind of stuff? Hopefully he doesn't play Greatest Alchemist, you know? That would be ideal. Tyrants to go with my big spells. Is today the last day of the season? Today is the last day of the season. Is someone injured? Is someone injured? 
it's, it's one of those revive decks. The Vivid Nightmare Storm would champion in a file to okay? If we're dead. There's some potential we just randomly die to something absurd here. We got rid of his inner fires though, so it's like as safe as we get. Okay, this is happening. Good. So he's trying to generate an inner fire. So let's see. The RNG kill you play. And if it doesn't kill me with this, we should win. Oh, that's a lot of cards. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen cards? He may have killed himself. I'm out of cards. <laughs> Divine Spirit, Divine Spirit, Inner Fire. That do it, find spirit that. Should have done that first. We gotta figure it. Got another divine spirit, and did he get the inner fire? Still looking. The man did not get the inner fire. So we're okay. Do it always to uh, six. Money is uh, kind of efficient resources when we can. Using these things to get them out of the way before they become useless. There's only two spells remaining in my deck. So that's the priority right now. Because all we have to do is survive. So we want to have the most removal available. Because Vitigo will kill him. Cool. First game of the day, we didn't get cheesed out by uh, generating inner fire off Lyra, so that's good. Positive. I think Quest Rogue is still viable after the nerf. I don't think it's good. Viable, maybe. Good, not really. Let's see. Hopefully he's even shaman, because Shadow Walk kind of beats us most of the time. Unfortunately. We have the Tyrants in there to help us pressure, but... It's still pretty tough to pressure down the Shadow Walk Shaman. We did drop both Tyrants though. Do you like to play with fire? It's 
so maybe we can do it. Getting draws, that feels good. Two four fours. Five mana, clear your board, play an eight eight. Power turn. playing for tempo <laughs> tempo one one ball. you got a lightning bolt out of his hand Hopefully I find a lot of soon and I slam a lot on the table and we have enough five five sort of volcano doesn't clear it, then we win. My Lich King, Alana, or Jaina. Need my pressure cards. Cause he's gonna OTK me soon. I think Jane is kind of nice. Gives us a lot more threats. But it's probably a little too late. Even though it's on 9. I think I want to keep the water on this whole thing. He's 
since no, he's got he's played everything. So it's not gonna go well for us. But he's only played one chain gang, so that's kind of okay. Gave up on getting top 25 this month. It was never a goal for this month. It just kind of accidentally happened earlier on. And then yesterday I was playing with no delay and not in offline mode. And for some reason, surprisingly, at the end of the month when people care about Legend Rank, my matchups were very dramatically different. <laughs> But I don't really care about the points, so it doesn't matter too much. But I've been digging Jane, and they've just been working pretty well for me. for next turn. You have a lot of health and water, let's just see what happens. Drink is into it. Pretty sure I'm dead, guys. I 
RIP. When they do that matchup right, it's really tough for Mage to win. How popular is Shutterwalk Shaman? It's probably quite popular. Mm. Nah, it's like six percent. I think we just gotta try not to queue into Shutter Watch on and we'll be good. Jaina versus Rexta. Let the hunt begin. You asked for it. This finds my healing, which is kind of nice. It's not as good as Doomsayer, but I'll take it, you know. Not draws Doomsayer. Throwing out the little armor guy against Hunter seems crazy. We're gonna need that. Coin to get to these six drop spells in order to answer his spellstone sounds pretty good. I'm Pelican, just subscribe. Glad to back 18 thing, man. Appreciate the support. So he's playing Big Hunter. Hunter, whatever you call it. Play dead. Good. Oh, there we go. It's fine enough. Only five drops in that deck are usually like cube, but he can always uh, flanking strike it, I guess. I don't need any of you. There's lone champions in his deck. Okay, so he's running the like Keliseth Firefly Lone Champion deck most likely. I wonder. I'm So what does he want to be doing? Rexar or sapping seeping oozling? 
But I think this is super vulnerable to Rek'Sai. But it could help against Seething Oozling. Find Jaina. And then we can maybe out tempo Rexar with Jaina. What eight drops coming out? Charge Devil Storm, Katharina. It's gonna have charge anyway, so activating myself I think is fine. I don't want to set up the Doomsayer because it's got so many good death rattles still. We'll wait till those are kind of expired, maybe. There's one charged devil sword left. And that's it. I guess technically, there's usually Witchwood Grizzlies too, but I'm not really scared of those all that much. So 
not spellbreakers in this deck, but. I think I'm gonna shape a spellbreaker, right? It's a little scary. That's greedy. <laughs> Big Hunter with Dire Frenzy. Oh no. I don't think we can be Big Hunter with Dire Frenzy. There's too much greed. We'll try though. We don't even have Jaina yet. We have to kill three King Cushes. We're losing in fatigue and we can't get any pressure because our Death Knight's buried and his was on six. I'm not optimistic about this one, team. Yeah, I rolled Frostmourne. It's okay, we got the weapon removal. If I play Jaina now, he's going to be able to use it to be able to generate another water elemental. So I have to use this first. It's risky to play this because he may be able to just drop they drop into it and pull a King Crush. I have the pie more for the King Crush, but still. Might not be accomplishing a whole lot with his potential death rattle pulls. But he can't play Silver Vanguard into this most of the time because he's used most of the 8 drops and he added 9 drops to his deck. start using my life total as a resource a little bit. We're not going to win clearing this board and then him playing another one and then us clearing it. We win by clearing his boards and creating water elementals at the same time. I just couldn't play Jaina last turn because the Frostmourne would mean he's taking my water elemental from me and that was too much.
That can be good. Come on, man, these zombies. That one's gonna kill all my water elemental board. Unless I freeze it. Twenty-three. <laughs> so we need more damage. Well, actually, we can kill it next turn after this, too. So it's kind of nice. I think we take what we get without being too greedy. Some beasts are so strong. If we can get a decently stable board though, maybe we can play Alana. This beast will not be tamed. Good start for us. It's not a very high tempo play. I can know like I can push the damage through with this, but I think it's maybe better just to slam Alana. Fills my entire board with five fives. So hopefully this is difficult for him to answer. I thought we were gonna lose that matchup, but I guess we win that matchup. Even as like the extra greed with dire frenzy and stuff. Let's now roll three. As long as we hit four against Rogue, we should be good. None will survive. Just... 
Here we go. We need to find an arcane artificer at some point in this game. Gigog used a bunch of bits. He's 10 bits. Appreciate the bits, man. And says, why does a moon rock taste better than an earth rock? Because it's a little meatier. Swag and Zach used five bits. Appreciate the bits, man. Nice, we got a three out of there. It's Dragon's Fury Kill Snake. There's only one three that we could hit. Should be pretty okay if we find Artificer. Because if I find Artificer, I'll have my healing online with all this removal. Got the removal, just don't have the healing yet. But then we can make it. Lowest we can roll is three. Even a low roll kills this whole board. Problem is, we are at 18. His deck can do that amount of damage, so the game just comes down to when do I draw one of my either Witchwood Piper or a Double Artificer. If it's never, I will lose. We can use this to give it Deadly Poisons and Cold Bloods, though, which is pretty helpful. Then Fungal Mancer can come at us. So I don't think it's time yet. He's not going to be getting too much value out of Cold Blood right now. Deadly he could use, I guess, but Cold Blood he can't really use right now. Alright, I can remove a lot of damage from this deck. Now there's deadly and cold bloods might be able to connect, so getting rid of them is pretty good. Still just waiting for artificer. Two artificers, one witchwood piper, and frostless chain as it all may save me one day. Nah, it looks like we may just need Jaina. <laughs> Probably gonna be like explosive runes or something. Something evil. What to do? Could be anything. The Brotherhood shall come Alright. Two artificers. Witchwood Piper, Frostlitch Chain.
Okay. What to do? What to do? We're only dead to Leroy if we freeze. If we play this, we have... We get the Artificer, but we only have four mana to work with. Is that good enough? Take two, three, four, five. What to do? What to do? Fungal Mancer could hurt us, so I think we want to go for... And we'd still die to Leroy, right, right? Five plus... Five plus six is eleven. We'd be at exactly eleven, so we'd still die to Leroy either way, so we should wait. before 20 cards into my deck. <laughs> I told you, we have a great hand, but the way we lose is if somehow we don't draw Artificer in time. Bummer. Lithonics used 500 bits. Holy smokes. So it seems good, 500. Sorry, I don't have any jokes. But I do have bits. Love the stream. I appreciate your bits, man. Oh, 04. I'm not 04. I'm 2 and 2. Now, Piper Artificer Poly the 6 6 sets me to 11. With him having 5 on board. Lee Raid is 6. 5 plus 6 is 11. And I expose my Artificer, so I limit my life gain for future turns. Both ways die exactly to Leroy. One way sets me up for a better place for future turns. So I chose to try and set myself up for a better place for future turns. I haven't seen any Taunt Druids, so maybe we could let loose the Goose. But uh, you know as soon as I do it, it's just going to be straight up Taunt Druids all day. And that deck cannot be taught through it. <laughs> Pointing that out seems pretty vulnerable to all the hunter secrets and doesn't accomplish a lot of pressure. So I'm gonna wait on pointing it out. Nice. Alright, so he's Spell Hunter. To try and find the removal now. Probably have to play AI next turn. Say which would Piper. Unless we draw like Dragon Spear or something. We can play Doomsayer on this turn. Try and stop him from playing the Spellstone. Because he wants to be playing the Spellstone right now. It just buys us time. Unfortunately, we can't really utilize our mana all that well while buying time, but I still think it's worth doing. Now we have even more opportunities to find the AoE for the spell zone in a deck that runs the maximum possible amount of AoEs. This draws Doomsayer 100% of the time. You can buy another turn. Even more opportunities to find the AoEs. We'll get there. You get one extra draw towards the AoEs this way. Up to Docs, just subscribe. Welcome to Beck Cave Team Thing, man. Appreciate the support.
Omnistone is not happening this week. A lot of people are traveling and doing stuff for Austin. So, the holiday weekend and Austin put together. Made a lot of people out of town. So we're just doing it next week. I think Arcane Alex is really strong right now. The reason being is that this is a rare metagame where dealing 3 damage AoE is good enough. I even thought about putting in Barrier and Frost Nova. I don't think I necessarily need to hit 4 damage on my AoEs. When Rogue is really popular, like Miracle Rogue and stuff like that, that's when 4 damage maybe is necessary. Or when the aggro decks are kind of different. But the aggro decks right now are really weak and 3-3 three, three is their competitive stat line. So you can just play Arcane Intellect, Barrier, Frost Nova and get away with it. Especially with Hunter being one of the main aggro decks. All Hunter plays with three trees, man. I don't want to take that damage. This isn't gonna kill me, and I can Reno Jackson afterwards. There may be a freezing trap though that prevents the healing of this water elemental. But Gettin will do the trick. How's Alana performing? I think Alana's mandatory. Their matchups where it just finishes the game. In my variation, I never play for fatigue as my win condition because I went double Accolade of Pain, double Arcane Intellect, double Arcane Tyrant, double Witchwood Piper, so I aggressively draw and empty my hand. So I need a finishers in fatigue scenarios. And Alana does that very well against a lot of decks. Namely, Druid. I don't want to attack because of uh, one, he gets bow charges, and two, that would remove my minion from my own heal. Peter the Great just subscribed. Welcome to the Becky Team Thing, man. Appreciate the support. Apodox just subscribed. Welcome to the Becky Team Thing, man. Appreciate the support. Spin bread, use 10 bits and said more to go biddies. Appreciate the biddies. He's down both kill commands, and this is the last bow. So he has like an arcane shot for damage. And to my side. Chronivore just subscribed for three months in a row. Welcome back to the Cave Team thing, man. Appreciate the support. So we should be good here.
He's got explosive freezing, wandering monster kind of stuff. I don't want to take the damage from explosive. Dead to double unleash hero power. That's not Dead to Leroy. No minion hunter to Leroy. That's next level. Take two, heal four. Worth. My eyes are open. Double Unleash Hero Power Arcane Shot for To My Side Arcane Shot. Or To My Side Unleash sometimes if he rolls the red minions. Explosive then freezing. All the freezings are gone, so should be okay. If I play a lot, I could die. Charge forward. Let's see, how much damage can you do now? Now I'm at 11, I think I can do it. And I don't have to worry about explosive damage. We have seven things on the board. I don't even know if we actually get seven. We have a lot of spells in our hand. But he can unleash me for seven, and he's got hero power for eight, nine, and then if he has a second arcane shot, we could be dead. Must decide. So. Let the pain speak to me. The time is now.
time he'll out of range of everything and play a mana. Would I consider one copy of Pyroblast to help end game? I've seen it done before instead of Alana. Mages often have the random Pyroblast, and that does get people. It's kind of a meme, but it's not horrible. Jaina. If it's the mirror, I like drawing. It does look like the mirror. Draw pressure, find Jaina first. Kill him with pressure. Not with fatigue. Be ahead on tempo. Which is really different than how most people play this matchup. Rolling in the pressure. Look at that 4 4. Neo Chaos 25, but just used 14 bits. It said it's party one, party one, party one, 14 times. Appreciate the support, man. G. 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 Gog. I've read this name correctly before, I think, but for some reason that's tripping me up. Use three bits, says rip tier one, rip tier one, rip tier one, GG, easy. What to do? What to Thanks, man, appreciate the bits. I want to say win for Jaina. I 
Why do I run so much card draw? So I can find Jane and make water elementals and kill people. Uh, I grew. There's my baby. The so I'm gonna coin Jaina next turn. And I don't need these anymore, so I'm gonna play the both of them. Develop something under this. Now I'm gonna try and make water mantles for the rest of the game. And hit him in the face. We do need to kill him. We can't win in fatigue, we are already five cards ahead. But we knew that going into it. This is for the Lich King card. The Lich King card can, like, uh, like mages run weapons. They run the Lich King and it occasionally gives them one of the best weapons in the game. Hopefully we don't get another Lana. <laughs> he could like ping and then flame strike or something. Double draw my acolyte.
to do. What to do. <laughs> Need to get him to use more removal. The more removal we get him to use, the less water mental he creates with it. Because he's not in Jaina mode yet. Four cards to Lana. I don't like it with something or own guy. I must decide. Must be done. Now we're forcing it out of him. Flame Strike is less good than Voodoo Doll, I think. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Sunius start using blizzards and flame strikes. And then we Alana him. Oop, there's the first one. Beetle. Always frost more, man. Oh, no, I'm losing in fatigue.
All that matters is playing Jaina first. Almost none of the rest of the game matters. It's a really dumb matchup. Draw as aggressively as you can, play Jaina. Try not to let them play Jaina by keeping pressure up. Disco Card Shark. Just subscribed for 13 months in a row. Welcome back to Back 18, thing, man. Appreciate the support. He asks, what's your favorite meme card in standard currently? Probably Toki. Toki is really fun. It allows for things, like wild things to happen. got a lot of board flood. <laughs> this might be the one matchup where you're supposed to mulligan Jaina, but I'm not gonna do it. I respect the card too much. <laughs> it's my whole deck. Medic again just subscribed. Welcome to back 18 thing, man. Appreciate the support. Job done. John Stomach just subscribed. Welcome to back 18 thing, man. Appreciate the support. Rip Cardo just subscribed for 11 months in a row. Welcome back to the back 18 thing, man. Almost a year. matchups where you don't want to draw and play for fatigue um, Reporting for duty. it's a tough question depends what your opponent does I guess but with this deck it just kind of loses an ultimate fatigue a lot of the time so playing for fatigue is kind of tough if your opponent can fatigue you without playing minions you're gonna lose because I have tons of card draw and not a lot of value. The Jaina Hero Power is one of the worst hero powers in Ultimate Fatigue, but is one of the best hero powers in slowed down fatigue games. Differences in Ultimate Fatigue, that's when neither player plays any card and we sit here and we see what the fatigue damage does. Your ping is only doing one a turn. Most other hero powers influence for two or more. So, when you. Ping is not creating a water elemental because both players are out of cards. Jane is going to lose to the Gul'dan hero power, which swings for six because they deal three and heal three, and it's going to lose to the warrior one because they heal for two and you're dealing one. So I try not to let that situation arise. But yeah, you have to be winning in fatigue by like at least two to win in actually by fatiguing someone to death. 
with a deck like this. Like two or three. So, if the opponent plays it correctly, they should be able to fatigue you if your plan is fatigue. So that's why my plan is pressure. Divine Shield Hammer is really good. If you didn't have Divine Shield Hammer, we'd probably be in this. Let's Flame Strike this, play another Arcane Tyrant. But the, the Hammer is so good. Needs to get rid of the device shields. Flame strike next turn. Or something. I need to go artificer flame strike. So I also need to top deck an artificer. Nope. Yeah, the hammer is a really silly card. One out of three times it wins the game. Or one out of four. Right. Taunt, attack, divine shield, and make dudes. And then divine shield is just three times better than all the other ones. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. And Taunt is like literally the worst. Like Taunt is so bad. So, I don't know. No one complains about that card, but my card is just balanced terribly. It'd be really cool if all of the forms of the card were like relatively the same power level. But Taunt is just incredibly worse and Divine Shield is super, super good. So if he's Jaina Mage, we want to cycle through our deck as fast as possible, play Malagos and kill him. If he's Temple Mage, we want to have this Wrath. And armor gain stuff. Look at the Wrath. Did Omnistone happen this week? Omnistone is not happening this week. We're taking a break from Omnistone for one week because a lot of people uh, went out of town for Memorial Weekend then a lot of people involved in this show are doing stuff for DreamHack Austin. So the staff is just not around right now. So skipping this week, but we'll be back next week at a regular time. Arwin Spear just subscribed. Welcome back, Abe Team Thing, man. Appreciate the support. Okay, 
the spell power swipe is appealing. I'm hoping maybe he pings this to try and hit me in the face and I can get a spell power swipe that clears it. I really want to try and cycle, but I don't want to take damage. We have six arm, seven armor gain cards. So every draw, we have a third of the chance. That's an expensive sign. Huh? Alright, Malfurion double ultimate, double branching paths, double ferocious howl. Let's go. And honestly, Nourish isn't too bad. But one of my seven armor cards would be good. Garbash Shaman is now hosting me for 293 viewers. How's it going, Gar, guys? I lost to Gar today, I think. He was the Shadow Walk Shaman. People were saying. Mmm. Ow! Saved. I'd rather be lucky than good any day. Red Quinn just subscribed for eight months in a row. Welcome back to that cave team thing, man. Appreciate the support. Says, hooray. Now a hostess says, do you have a reservation? And he responds, no, I'm confident. I want to eat here. Also, I think Warlock nerfs enough. Oh, <laughs> do you have reservations? Ah, ha, 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 ha. You got me. You did get me. I was like, what is this? I get it. I get it. <laughs> Do I think Warlock nerf is enough? I haven't played too much Warlock lately. I think, um... The thing that hurt Warlock the most is that people can get away with playing some really funky stuff now because aggro's out of the way. With the less prominent of aggro, there's like recruit hunter and crazy stuff so yeah I think Warlock has sufficiently knocked down a peg statistically it's not even that large of a part of the metagame right now I have also seen a lot of people posting success with Warlock so I think by the end of the day we'll know for certain if the Warlock nerf wasn't good enough or not because everyone's gonna be try harding all day so There'll be a lot of Warlock stats to be added, but lately a lot of, a lot of people have been not playing Warlock. So it's been hard to get too good of stats going on it. Yeah, Taunt Druid does seem to be like the big top dog that people have been gravitating towards these last two days. Currently everyone's countering Taunt Druid, so what I'm trying to do is since Taunt Druid was super hyped these last two days and everyone's hitting top 10 with it, then everyone was playing it yesterday, I'm thinking no one's going to be playing it today, so I'm sneaking in with some Malagoose Druid, which, don't tell anyone, but auto loses to Taunt Druid. But it's really good versus the aggro decks that are people are playing to try and take down the Taunt Druids. So, 
you know, I'm trying to trying to come in from the side. I must protect the wild. I'm gonna keep one of these swipes just in case he's odd rogue. How does token druid attack? Token druid's okay. I prefer the Malagos burst compared to the token burst. Cause then I can yell, let loose the goose. Well, we're dead. <laughs> I think, I think we're dead. We don't pressure fast enough to beat quest rogue, that's for sure. How's quest rogue pre nerf or post nerf? It's pretty bad post nerf. Um, one of the things is like primordial drake is really good versus them, and I don't know. I was having a lot of trouble with getting too good of a win rate when I was trying to play quest rogue. I tried it, was not not into it. Try and clear the board next turn and then play Lich King. Hopefully good things happen. Hopefully I, I was trying to find an arcane tyrant. But what are you gonna do? Innervate Lich King. Then maybe we get enough Lich King cards that we could do something. I hope you like my this could be tough though. He's going really quick through his quest. <laughs> this is a good Lich King card we pulled. We got pretty fortunate with that. Starfall's sweet, guys. It activates the tyrant. It's the best way to kill everything. What to do?
just run a spell stone twice. Oops. Pro player. Lost one armor. If we lose by one, that's on me. Double death and decay? That's so sick. Well, I didn't want to use Death and Decay that turn. I wanted to save the Swipe Death and Decay combo for a bigger board. The Swipe plus Death and Decay kills everything. Alright, I want to thin my deck towards Malagos, kind of. Let's just rip the Mali. Yeah, that's easy enough. Easy 40 percenter. Come, try your luck. Well, this is a bummer. O'Malley's gonna be dead. <laughs> Sonia, real good card. Well, heal to full health while killing my Lich King and Malagos. Thank God they're four fours. And he can do that again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Somehow I think I might not win this one. I can see. That's okay. That matchup's super rare. I've played it once in three months, two months maybe. So I don't think we're gonna risk too many more quest rogues. I don't think I threw Mr. Wixed Blux. The reason being is because I need to set up a twig in order to do 36 damage. Without setting up a twig, my max damage burst is going to be not 36, but instead it's going to be 12. 12 damage was not even close to enough to kill him from that, especially if he was able to play Sonya and the Rush Heal guy, which he did. Killing my Lich King and then bringing back the Sonya, allowing him to do that again when another minion is played. He could have maintained 30 health total the entire game. And he could have set up a giant board of 4-4s four and killed me before I was able to set up my twig, which takes 5 turns to set up to be able to hit him for 36. It's just too long of a time to be able to do that. He's going to kill me. So I think it's better to take the risk that he doesn't have that combo rather than wait 
and certainly die to a giant army of 4 fours that I can never fend off forever because I have no minions in my deck and no other pressure beside this one Malagos. Bad matchup. That's true, I could have waited longer. Each turn I wait, I increase the odds that I draw Malagos naturally. I don't know. I don't understand what the point of waiting longer is, though. Gives him more time to draw the combo. He can beat it. Less time where I'm pressuring him with a Lich King on board. Really quick, so this is a game where we have to have ultimate in the top half of our deck. Six cards, we go up to seven, we're gonna go innervate, innervate, down deck to five, then play ultimate. Going down to four, so we can draw another one. Where's the other tyrant? Not yet. We still need twig and a swipe. And then we can 36. He's just both known for Optus, so. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling worse. There's a skull of Minari. We're all gonna die. I got a twig, I'm feeling pretty good. deck he's playing often runs weapon removal. Generated four anyway, so there's no reason to try and play into file like that. No second void lord feels good.
Wood. Need to swipe the 36 damage combo. Tunnel visioning at all. Good, 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 good. Two turns at 36 him. Right now I'm threatening to 12 him. Slatcher just subscribed. Welcome back, 18 thing, man. Appreciate the support. Hemp's used two bits. This is cheer one, cheer one. I was never a big fan of pickles. Can somebody explain to me what the big deal is? Nice. 19. What's 19 minus 5? Makes it harder for him to you know, stop everything. Okay. Hopefully we get him now. I like this because it puts a Malagos in the way, which makes it a lot harder for him to do different sorts of healing lines. Because a lot of the Healy lines require mana. And killing Malagos also requires mana. DKs, I swiped him in the face and he's dead. <laughs> the Malagos is still there. Malagos is pretty good, man. Thank you. Mm. Oh, foods. Mm. Feels good, man. Going back to 231. I got barbecue chicken and mashed potatoes and carrots. Very wholesome. I eat the same meal every day. Pretty close to the same meal, usually during the week. Because I mean, I only buy like a couple ingredients and then take turns cooking and stuff. So this week was chicken.
Put it all in a blender and mix with water for maximum efficiency. I'll have to try that next time. Do I enjoy cooking? Cooking is one of my favorite things to do. Cook all the time. I find it very relaxing. Now dishes, on the other hand. <laughs> I'm less into dishes. What's my best dish? I have no idea. I, know, I usually like cooking things on the grill or smoker, stuff like that. Meat. Ribs. Steak. Pulled pork. Burgers. All that kind of thing. I suck at making french fries. I've tried for I tried so many times to make like really good french fries and they always turn out terrible. Like they don't turn out terrible, they just don't turn out amazing. They just kind of turn out okay. So, we have many I gave up on trying to make really good crispy french fries and I just go for like garlic mashed potatoes now. I want to be Malfurion as soon as possible. Um, and blanch them first and then fry twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read about it. It's just, it's just never as good as I want them to be. For the amount of effort I put into it and then when I actually do it and I do the whole blanching thing and Fry them twice and all that stuff. It's just not not as good. I do have the I have the air fryer thing. I use an air fryer usually, which probably maybe that's why. Got it. Actually, yeah, you know, you're gonna try and compete with actual French fries from a restaurant. You might want to get the right equipment. But air fryer fries aren't that bad. They're just like not as good as fries to get other places. Matchup is going pretty well today. Show me the money. The goose. Hello, Mr. Goose. We don't actually need you this game if you want to go home. It's not true. If you could lose in fatigue. Probably not losing in fatigue. Also, pretty good at this kind of spell. Someday I'll be just like you. If I want to have 36 available, I would need to save my swipe, but I don't think I need that. I'm just gonna 
think we win in fatigue still, even losing by three, because our hero power is so much better. And we have a lot more armor gain to come. So I think I, I'll try and fatigue him, maybe. Let's draw ultimate, then I'll just play ultimate and kill him. The black cat tech. Sometimes it draws a card, sometimes it doesn't. It is drawn. Wasn't really paying attention. Come on, lose the goose. You just fireball frostbolt to the Malagos number 28. Why are you playing a Luna? What is the thought process here? I guess he has no choice, right? A really good tender storm. <laughs> Impressive. I must have more. Warriors of the frozen wastes. No oh, balls. No, oh, that's how I throw a game. Sometimes people play mere entity. Well, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. Good, 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 good. I thought for sure it's gonna be explosive runes or counter spell. Sanderstorms. Five more. I must have more. Okay. We still have outs, but you know we're gonna draw Innervate. We got two ultimates in there for armor gain, we got two ferocious howls, we got a faceless that could maybe help, and we got a spreading flag. We do also have an Innervate.
Twitch Zord, just to subscribe. Welcome to the back 18 thing, man. Appreciate the support. Kamamura underscore CZ used 100 bits and says, Hey Firebat, do you know how you best get rid of bankers? Ask them for money and they will leave you alone. <laughs> like a bank. Get counterspelled and lose. He's gonna fatigue for four. We might live. Eight, nine. It all comes down to the Lich King cards. Now he's got another life drinker sometimes. Now he's got that weird tech in there. It all comes down to the Lich King cards. And the Pyroblast, yeah, yeah. The pyroblast. Of course, the Pyroblast. I should have probably, um... Played around the energy. <laughs> well... From a 100% win to a loss. That's not good. That was not the right way to play that game. Let's get it. Twigging out. For the wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I got a lot of health on the board, so maybe the volcano won't be able to clear me. Maybe I just go pop the thing and try and win on tempo with Lich King and Ultimate and an Arcane Tyrant. Maybe two. The goose seems away in the distance. And he's overloaded, so... Well, let's go, you know? Lich King, swing, pop off. He thinks I have to wait for this Malagos OTK. Nah, nah, nah. Flexibility. And ooze. <laughs> nope, no ooze. Give me an eye pain timer. He's got another volcano. Too strong. I have one, two, three. I can't even play any of my cards. I'm losing my mind. It's unlucky. I when mean, they have the double volcano. Lightning bolt. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? We need the board, so I don't want to trade this to get a week into Lightning Storm. These are volcanoes. That's the one thing we got going for us. We don't got a lot going for us. Take what we get. Shit, I should have. Well, I don't even want to draw. Drawing accomplishes nothing. Well, not necessarily. We get a swipe. Do I want to play swine? No. Drawing accomplishes nothing. It's too late. <laughs> I 
If we draw and hit Thalnos, we could save the Moonfire. are plagued. <clears throat> well, you can't, um... Play Shadow Walk while hexing it. Nice. Created by Bewitch. Easy. Bewitch healing rain win the game. Well, that's why pure power. You can't do that while you're frozen, man. <laughs> Not with that attitude. All right, guys. I think I'm going to call it for the stream today. A little early, but, um... Oh. Alright, anyway, thanks everybody for tuning in. Hopefully, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and let's look for somebody to host. Who's streaming even today? It's the last day, so like not a lot of people are streaming. Oh, Kibler's streaming. Let's host Kibler. He's my teammate on Omnistone, so... Pretty good guy. Good teammate. Usually plays some pretty fun stuff, so it should be some enjoyable decks to watch. And hopefully he does well with some weird stuff. That'd be kind of cool to see. Anyway, take care, guys.